Chief Remilekun Sijani Usman, an international businessman and loyalist of Ashwaju Bola Metinumbu, has called on the Vice President of Nigeria, Professor Yemi Oshibaju, and Minister for Interior, Ogbeni Rauf Aregbeshola, to openly declare their support for Tinumbu's presidential ambition. The Ilesha Bond Entrepreneur, who is the CEO of Beltage Nigeria Limited in a statement said the silence of both Oshi Oshibaju and Aregbe Shola, who are products of the Tinumbu political dynasty, is not the best at this moment. Usman, who pledged to support Ashwaju Bola Ahmed Tinumbu campaign with, 10, with 100 million naira, urged the duo to take a cue from the former governor of Abia State, Senator Oju Zokalus, who did not only identify with Ashwaju's project but also campaigned rigorously for Yoruba man to be president. If those who are not from Yoruba land, including northerners, are not hiding their support for Ashwaju Tinumbu, one wonders why our brothers, whose political journey cannot be completed without Tinumbu's influence, are yet to be mobilizing and working secretly and openly for him. There may be difference or differences they should resolve and bury their hatchets in the interest of Southwest Yoruba and give Tinumbu the support, the best support he deserves from them. I also want to say that Oshiba Juaregbe Shola and others who are in the same category of aggrieved party members who direct their supporters to do so and join various campaign groups. Usman, who expresses optimism that Tinubu will win the 2023 election, said, Don't let us go to where, don't let us go to war with a divided team. We need genuine reconciliation and support for the tax ahead because it is a must win for Yoruba land. You can imagine a must win for Yoruba land, not Nigeria. You see how tribalistic these people can be. Why are you mentioning eh, eh, the support of Yoruba man? That is not what we are talking about. Anybody can be president. Just like I've said, the business of all these uh, politicians, all these uh, presidential candidates, their business are our business. So when I hear people say, oh, uh, leave us alone, uh, face your decision. No, any of them can win. That is it. Any of them can win. So whatever they are saying now are the things that they are going to be held. They are going to be held responsible what, with whatever they are saying now. That's what we are talking about. Whatever they are saying now, it will be held against them. So any of them can win. So everything they say now, attention must be paid to them. Yes, attention must be paid to them. So when you come out and say eh, it must be Yoruba, what are we talking about? Then let us divide the country. We not say no. Why should you be, be like that? Are you going to be forcing them in the first place? Do you want to force them? Oshibaju and Aregbe Shola, people say, oh, they are irrelevant in today's politics. Then why are they calling them? If they are irrelevant, what Oshibaju and Aregbe Shola could not do for themselves. But at the end of the day, Aregbe Shola did not support it. Aregbe Shola did not support them in uh, Ocean State, and we will see it. They say it, it was not relevant, but at the end of the day, they had to reckon with him. Why are you cursing all these people? Okay, these people know Tinubu too well that bringing to him at bringing him to a national will be a serious de uh, damage to our country moral countenance. They may be wondering how the international community will be looking at us as people who are moral deficient they are morally deficient to have a drug baron as a president someone without integrity and a rascal as our seat of power and that is it you can you can say whatever you want to say you can paint them eh, now our, our person now our this thing all of us we get people where if you know where we come from you go to surprise say oh ah, well it's not only about uh, ethnicity but we know in fact, eh, big brother pay for for one one to buy. But we only for one. Then for what? But they don't see and finish now. What is the cover? And that is the truth. Just like somebody said, eh, one have effect if I tell you for what the the whole world is seen. Everybody knows, but you just want to be patching thing. Eh, my fear tell them my pal, my pal, my pal. No, we talk and make people say, make people say, ah, now this thing. People who have integrity know they know where their loyalty lies or who they want to be supporting. He said, because somebody in a Yoruba person, eh, those, in those days, let me say in those days, during Good Lord Jonathan, some people say, no, 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 we can't continue with Good Lord Jonathan. And they are from South-South. They say, we can't continue like this. 
And some people were even accusing them. Ah, how can you be coming from Sasat? And you are you are against a good, good Lord Jonathan. Who who that one help? Is that what we are talking about? That is why if we want to be going by that, then let everybody go their separate way, just like a Igbo and Namdekano have been saying. Let everybody go their separate ways. At the end of the day, we now know that we are we have different currency. In as much we are still spending one currency. Yes, so nobody should be talking about a, a tribal whatever. But worry now that is there now. What are they gaining? The people that are so close to him, those are the people he's giving giving a juicy appointment. And that is what all these people are doing. And I've said it several times before now, before the all these uh, political parties held their primaries. I was saying it when they, everybody was like, Oh, Igbo presidency. I said, hmm, if we go and get somebody who is a non entity among all these uh, Igbo politicians, eh, it will be business as usual because they will not say it is our turn. If you don't get correct person, somebody who is more reasonable, who is responsible, and oh, just because hey, we want a ego presidency, ego presidency, at the end of the day, we will suffer the same thing, just like we are suffering in the hands of uh, Buhari. So it's not by ego presidency. Yo. Anybody coming from any, any region must be a responsible person. You can imagine what this man is saying. You want to force a regular they want to start another war. Now, she the man say, he's a bee. Hey, he's he, what you told her now. Uh -huh. He don't reach, he re, don't reach finish. Oh, he told that he sponsor a red, that he, that he, that he, oh, popular. He's so, he's a popular person. So, the, he doesn't need them. So, why are you guys making, uh, case out of nothing? Now, wow. Must you force people who have been offended by your taskmaster, don't mind them with, with or without them, APC will win by the grace of God. Uh -huh, good and fine. They are, about to end their political career abruptly, they are betrayers and Judas in the camp. Now Jagaban knows them for what they have. Bunch of ingrates. Hmm. You are not serious. Though. Why you lost Oshu because of divided house? The VP had said he is a lawyer party man when asked about the 2023 election. What else do you want him to do? No, they should, he should be going on room to room now. Room to room campaign. That is what they expect him to be doing. Okay, well, okay, try force it could work. Mr. Arrogance doesn't realize pretty early that a winning either by truth or crook in party is totally different from winning a general election of this kind. <laughs> this is in Lagos, so we just gather people, do, 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 yeah, confine them. How many people they want to send that like, go? No, tell me how many people, how many states they want to send that like, go to go to disrupt people. Tinubu should go and apologize to Shibaju and Aregbe because they are not happy with what is going on in the APC. Remember Oshun election. And that is it. So guys, let's hear your opinion and have your take on this. Thank you.